right we're using my old camera because i just put my new one on and um i realized i have no charge so that's great hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel i'm gonna do a little life update q a um because i feel like i haven't like done one on here for ages um and also it'd just be good to, you know before i start vlogging my life that you guys actually know what's going on so i asked on my instagram um some questions obviously we all know the obvious one that's been asked about five million times so first of all someone said um any holidays coming up well i'm going to wait a second we're now running out of storage right so the first one that um was asked was um have i got any holidays coming up so i am going to edinburgh next week which isn't really a holiday because it's for work i'm hosting the girls who graduated then with strut safe we hosted one in leeds last week which was this week which was amazing it honestly was one of my favorite things i've done with girls who graduate traveling to leeds and like meeting the girls from leeds that are on the group was just amazing like honestly hearing girls say that like they found their job for girls who graduate or they found their flatmates for girls who graduate is just madness um so yeah i'm going to edinburgh to do another event with strut safe all surrounding um women's safety spiking the rise in spiking cases and um, just a chance for girls to like open up with each other support each other and find resources they can use if they ever feel unsafe or yeah just 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 a way for girls to feel safer um and yeah so i'm going on wednesday next week to edinburgh which is so exciting i'm staying in a hotel for one night and then coming back and then the following week i go to paris with one of my best friends charlotte who lives upstairs um and actually one of the questions was how did i meet her so i'll explain that later um and we're going to paris for a night we were just going to get the train in the morning and then come back in the evening and then we were like why don't we just stay a night and we just thought it'd be more fun like actually stay in paris so we've got a hotel right next to the eiffel tower i'm so excited um i haven't been to paris for ages and it's honestly one of my favorite places in the world one of my favorite cities so yeah very excited for that um the train tickets were actually really reasonable i'm gonna vlog it i promise i'm gonna vlog it i actually will and i will upload it um they were like i think they were like a hundred pounds for there and back train tickets which is actually really good considering we're going in december and everyone's going at the moment i thought it'd be way more expensive and then the following week i am going to the cotswolds and we're staying two nights there um me and hasbulla if you don't know who hasbulla is basically we'll get into it in the video we'll get into it in the video because that's about half of the questions i say all of the questions um we're going to stay in the cotswolds in a little like um like a like a hut with like a hot tub and stuff i'll be showing it all on my instagram it looks amazing i'm so excited we just thought we'd get away um just for a few nights little staycation so very excited for that and then yeah i don't think i've got any other holidays i want to go away in january um somewhere hot get a bit of sun so fingers crossed bali opens but i mean who knows these days everything can change so quickly are you staying in your flat and how long for so this is my flat the last time i did a life update i think i'd like moved into this flat it was um i moved in december end of december last year we were in lockdown i had to move during lockdown it was very very stressful um but basically it was meant to end in december the contract but i've extended it to another few months so i think i'll probably leave in like february and then at the moment i am looking at getting another one bed um renting another one bed whether i'll stay in this part of london whether i'll stay in this flat like i did think like a couple of months ago i was like actually i'm just gonna stay here for another year but I think maybe I want to change up and I just I, I think it'll be really fun like moving doing moving vlogs and like moving to a new place and yeah I think I will move so I'll keep you updated on that I'll do some maybe like flat tour um flat viewing vlogs and stuff um so yeah looking for a one bed flat to rent in February at the moment which is very exciting like I love change and I love like um like to make it really homely and everything so yeah at the moment that's the plan it could change who knows but i really love living by myself um and yeah that's the plan at the moment but can i apply to work at girls who graduate i would absolutely love to have the girls who graduate team made up of girls that are from girls who graduate like that would be a dream but there is so much going on behind the scenes at the moment there's loads of change going on behind behind the scenes with my work and like girls who graduate and everything so at the moment i'm just trying to like get that settled and then i would absolutely love to build a team of girls who graduate members that is the dream it really is the dream um imagine us all being able to work together and like coming to the office oh, 
be amazing. Um, someone said, what is it? What exactly is your role in girls who graduate on a daily basis? Would love to see a vlog of this. That's an interesting one. So I am the founder of Girls Who Graduate. So I kind of do everything. I used to have a team working for me, like, um, yeah, I used to have people working for me, well, not for me, but with me, with Girls Who Graduate. Um, but at the moment I'm running it completely by myself. Um, so I do all the social media, I, I plan all the events. I, yeah, basically I do it by myself. I do all the, let all the um, posts in on the group, let everyone in. Once it's more settled and everything's just kind of like worked itself out and I've worked it all out, I'll explain more and, and I'll be able to give you more of like a, what I do on a daily basis and stuff. But at the moment it's all just, there's lots going on. Um, what's it like being your own boss? Would you like to one day do something else? No, <laughs> I absolutely love what I do. I love my job so much. Even like going to the girls graduate event at Lee's, I was like, oh my God, I just love my job like getting to meet these girls and like put on these events and work with such amazing people and yeah I absolutely love my job so much um and like being self-employed is just a dream it really is who is Hasbulla? so basically when I was away in Portugal <laughs> I was away with Hasbulla. not actually Hasbulla, he's my boyfriend um and I was away with him and everyone was asking who I was away with everyone was like who is this girl away with basically he was working during the day because he works and and so i go and off and explore by myself in portugal like i go to lisbon and like i do my own thing which i absolutely loved like i love my own company and i love like doing stuff alone so i really enjoyed that but people were like but she's not alone so who is she with <laughs> on instagram so i just found the hasbilla filter well i think he did and then he was like let's say that you're let, let's put this on my face and say who you're in portugal with so yeah that's how it came about and then since then i've just i've just referred to him on my instagram as hasbilla i think that having a having part of your life private when your life is so online and i put so much online and i put so much out there is really really important and like i'm not hiding him i wouldn't be like oh my god no you're not allowed to see him at the moment i'm just happy keeping it private and like we're both happy and yeah and like if you saw me in person i wouldn't be like no you cannot see his face of course not but like just like at the moment he just doesn't need to be on there it's just not not something that i need to show um but i met him on raya which is like a dating app but it's like a really weird one there's like footballers rugby players on there there's like um influencers there's youtubers it's basically just like a really <laughs> it's a bit like I don't know, I just got on there because it was so funny to see who was on there and like it was so like exclusive that I was like getting me on and I think my sister's friend, you have to know two people on the app and they have to refer you and my sister's friends were like, I, we're on it and we, they got me on. Um, so yeah, we matched on there in like April. So it's been like seven months that I've known him for. Um, and yeah, and then that's what happened we both didn't we don't both didn't want relationships when we met each other but look where we are now um so yeah that's that's all you're getting i think yeah met on raya and now eight months late seven eight months later we're together okay let's go for another question how did you make friends with the girl in your building charlotte so um i met charlotte the same week that i met my boyfriend Hasbulla. Um, his name's actually not Hasbulla, by the way. I'm sure you all know that, but just in case. Um, I met Charlotte the same week that I met him, which is really weird because they're now both like two massive parts of my life. Um, Charlotte, I talk to you every single day, see her most days. Um, she lives a few floors above me. And yeah, um, basically she messaged me on Instagram because her friend followed me and recognized my bill, recognized the building. I was like, wait, I think I've seen that somewhere. And I just started posting like moving in pictures and then was like, maybe you should like make friends with her. And then we started going for dinners and realized how well we got on together. And yeah, and then we just literally spent all our time together. It's crazy. And it's so weird. I feel like I've known her my whole life. Like. It is weird that she only came into my life seven or eight months ago. Um, but yeah, she's amazing and I'm very lucky to have met her. I didn't think at 24, well I met her when I was 23, 23 years old, I'd meet another best friend. 
but I did. How much do you pay for your flat? I mean, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna share how much I pay. I did get a really good deal because I moved in um corona like during like lockdown, so that's why I got such a good deal. Um it it will be way more than I pay now because prices in London have just gone up so much. That's why I'm quite worried about moving because I'm like, oh I'll be paying so much more rent than I am now. Um but he's gonna put this my landlord will definitely put this flat up in price anyway. So yeah. London is expensive, but it's worth it. Okay, last one. Um, what are you most excited about for Christmas and are you spending Christmas with your family? So yes, I am spending Christmas with my family. I'm so excited. I need to actually get on with Christmas shopping. I'm trying to wait till Black Friday, but then I'm like, oh, it's just gonna be mad. Everything's gonna sell out. So I'm gonna make a list of things that I wanna buy for friends and family and then buy them on Black Friday, um, hopefully. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited for Christmas. I am spending it with my family and it'll be Aurelia's first Christmas, who is my little niece. She'll be about six months old by the time, yeah, December 21st, she'll probably be about six months old. This time last year, Chessie announced she was pregnant on Christmas Eve, I think. And it's so weird that now we have Aurelia here and. I'm so excited for her first Christmas with us. It's gonna be amazing. So yeah, I'm spending Christmas with my family. I'm so excited and it's, yeah, I think it's gonna be amazing. Um, so that's it. I need to go and get ready because I'm going for lunch with my family. But I will start vlogging again. I will, yeah, I'll try and share more um, and get back into YouTube because I really, really do enjoy it. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, Blah, 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 blah. if you don't follow me on instagram then it's at roger king double g and you can go follow me over there and yeah lots of love and i hope you have a lovely weekend if i get this up in time for the weekend <laughs>